Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. When you want to package it, what is packaging? Creating a bar or a jar file, right? So what do we do? Maven package. When we do Maven package, folks, there's a, it, the target folder was empty, right? It bundles and it keeps in the target folder. See, this is a jar file that is created because I specified the version as this. If I change the version, it, it gets created with a different version. Instead of 001 snapshot, if I say latest snapshot, it gets created with the latest snapshot and it is bundling it as a jar file. If you see this, did you write anything in this? Or do you have anything like and, right? It's a very small XML file, which is doing internally everything for you, right? And it's it's very easy. It's, it's very little effort. You, see, you know, I could do all this in less than 10 minutes, folks. Isn't it? Setting all the words in. That is, uh -huh. yes, my we are using log for this. Do we need to mention the dependency in this file? Yes, exactly. And if you're using Spring, we need to mention the, the, the dependency. Files. Exactly. So if I'm using this log force, right? The group ID is log force. The artifact, I mean, I just gave it here in the document as an example for adding log force dependency, right? So what, what you need to do, you could just, you know, copy this dependency and put it here. You don't need to do that also. You just go to this dependency. You just add here. I say I want to add it as the group ID is JUNET. J unit and what is the version? 1.2.1, right? right? Let's say, you know, if it's, it's log for I'm sorry. I can see the artifact ID as well, right? I'm saying it is compiled. The default, the default scope is compiled, right? I save it. You see? It came for you right here. So if we are uh, using Spring, like over the Spring, yes. whatever it is. Yes, if you just go to Google and just Spring Maven dependency, it, it gives you what is the artifact of Oh, okay, okay. And we, we just need to add it as a dependency, like different artifacts, thing has for ORM or, and all those things. You, you, you just need to know the artifact ID, Sorry, group ID, artifact ID, and what is the version that you want to know? Let's say, folks, instead of this log 4 j 1.2.1, if I want a different version, what do I need to do? I just go here and I just need to change the version of it. I just need to change the version of it. That's all. When I add it, you see it has one more dependency. Few people find the design one comfortable to do that. And people will just do a copy paste and change it. Either it's, it's, it's your preference to do it. So, is it like we need to create Maven project each time? Or it's like uh, if I already have a project, I, I want to uh, write a script for that one? Yes, see, let's say you were an architect you, uh, of the project, you created a Maven project. I, when I come as a developer, I need to create a new project altogether. I write my own modules, I write my own test cases here, and it just takes care. Let's say if I'm using something new, right? Um, let's say I'm using a HTTP client for the consumption of an SPS web service, Apache HTTP client, right? What I put? 
it is the project and everything has already been had already been set up by you i just come over here and add my own dependency here that's all no if uh, like uh, i have project already developed like and i can add a script any time after development of project also what about uh, maven if yeah, i already have project? you can you can do at any time but when you are doing it you have to organize it keeping all your code in asasi main java application code and all the skills in asasi as java that's what you need to do so yeah, it will be difficult right because naming convention here is different like asasi slash main slash java or something like that yeah, it's a naming convention that it has maven is maven comes with some convention as well and doesn't Well, that's what I'm trying to ask. Cause if we already have a developed project, and uh, okay, let's. Uh, But you read the benefits of it. If if you see, I mean, folks, you have seen, right? I have written so much of and script. Maybe you know, I'm talking more towards maybe I have personal influence in folks. Uh, But if you observe it, right, the and script, you have mentioned so many, uh, you know. It, it's verbs, or it's not about being verbs. Once it's written, you, I mean, it doesn't matter if it is verbs. You have to write so much of script to achieve the same thing what Maven does, right? You have to create different targets, as you also said, wherein the thought, I mean, whatever targets that are needed or do are already defined as goals by Maven, like the compile, right? So here, yes, the test. Package all these things. They are already defined as goals by Maven. You don't need to write anything to do that, which you have to when you are using and. I think the Maven is easier. Right? If you know the syntax, everything, then it's easy to just to specify the few. Yes, it takes it. It takes ten minutes for me to to do a Maven part. Not even that, right? I just say the few mouses I created project as a template. I I just set up of the Maven, and right as you have seen, I bundled it all for. It's just a simple Maven package. And folks, uh, just for running out of time, there is a Maven install. What it does is it packages and it copies to the repository. In the repository, you have this repository, folks. What is my package here? Com. Com. Dot. H. Two. K. Dot. I have for here it's com. So when I go here in the repository, you see that that's getting copied. When you say install, we haven't said it now. But when you say install, right in this when I say package, what it happens? It bundles it into a jar file. Whatever it has to say, we ask it to bundle it into a packaging is jar. So it does it. But when you say Maven install. It packages and it copies to your repository. So you know, you see, it's, it is installing to my repository. Com Maven one, Maven project one, and you know, inside that it is copying it. Yes, Joseph. When whenever you are. Want to convert an existing project to Maven? You have to reorganize the Java file. You know, putting them into a certain in Java. You have to get it into a certain Java. And like when you have some resources, all the configuration files, we keep it in a certain main resources. You know, it has to be organized. It's easy in that then, just like the script. You have to see even if your your if your project is not organized, you you have to tell and the this is where my source code is. After compilation, keep my classes here. We have to specify all the two and even we have to specify the var and all these things, right? No, uh, for the okay, it's a personal preference. I mean, no, for an yeah. existing project, if you want to uh, do something, it's basically it's easy in uh, and because you have thousands of classes it's in easy. a project. Yes, you want to arrange yes, that you have for of classes. You you could just create an Asasi main Java and keep all the packages in the Asasi main Java. How much an effort is that? You have, I mean, there should be some folder or you know 
where you have all your packages, right? Just copy all the packages and put it in a SASE main Java. Right? You just create a SASE main Java folder and just move all your packages into a SASE main Java. That's all. All your test cases into a SASE main Java. And that's it. So you mean all the existing, like let's say if I have some old project and just copy all the Java file under the SAP main Java and that yes. we don't need to do anything else. We need to do anything else. Okay. The other thing, thing is, mm -hmm. so we need to compile these like through the command line every time? Maven mm -hmm. compiler, those things? No. See, when you have the Maven plugin box, if you just want to update the dependencies, you want to add dependency, update the dependencies. You, you know, you can, you can just do a compile from here also when you just do a project clean when you want to build a specific project when it does it, it actually you know do it from eclipse but why we do it from command prompt is sometimes these ideas have some issues i mean now with it like updated dependencies very fast sometimes when you have like huge work space, it takes time to update the dependencies. It still seems to give you compilation error and all that. That's the reason we just uh, do it with command through the command prompt. You see, Maven build, Maven clean, generate purpose, install. You could you could do all that. That's everything, right? You see, it's it's it's, it's downloading this stuff, all those things. You could just do it from here. Just what we do with and you just have, we, we could do Maven build, Maven clean, generate. Folks, when you, when one more thing, when we're sorry, whenever we use like the install and all those things, we do a clean also. Uh, just whenever you want to do an install, right? We say Maven Maven clean install so that it you know whatever they're in the target, it just delete and freshly do a compile and it packages it and it does install it into the repository. And I mean, using an SEM, we could actually. Okay, using an SEM, we, we could actually specify, okay, this is the part where this project is binded in the repository, like an SEM also. We could bind it and say all that. And if you want to copy to a different, you know, repository than your local. Right? We, we could. You could specify that in distributed management, you could specify a repository. And for this repository access, we need to make the changes in settings.xml file. There's a settings.xml file, where if you want to access to a repository, right, it has to provide the credentials and authentications for it, which we do in the settings.xml file. So, uh, yeah, these are different scopes wherein we provide the dependence. Maven looks easier than I believe. Yes, at least for me, it is. I tried to uh, migrate some project uh, uh, for Maven, uh, and it was very hard for me. That's why I was asking uh, how to add it in existing code. Okay. You know, see, there is a bit of hiccups, and I don't deny that it was a very big project, but you just need to organize your files into this. All your source code into this, and Maven does take care of that. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll try this one one more time. I guess this will work. Yes, folks. I mean, maybe if some of your regulars doesn't have Maven, I, I advise you to go to the Eclipse website, download the command Eclipse IDE for e developers. It gives you a couple version which has inbuilt Maven plugin. And folks, in the documentation, you have a command if you want to do a create a project. Now you don't have the techniques and all these things. Just use this command that's specifying the specific group ID and artifact ID. It is created for you. You could just work it through command. And all. You know, it's not easy to create classes and all, but you could do the commands at least from here.
And so there were, you know, sad thing around this, like, you know, uh, thing. and let's say folks, if I want to change from spin two to spin 2.5 to spin 3.0, what do you do with and? You go remove the ZAR file, get download the ZAR file, so really put it in your project, and you have to include it in the class file. If you're saying star, star .jar, you don't need to do anything, right? You have to physically get it and put it. But with name and you just need to change the version. If I want to change a different version, right? So what I do? I just change it. I mean, maybe this dependence is not, I, I'm not sure if I have the version of it or not, but if I have it, will, you know, th that get resolved right here when you change the version. See folks, when I said 17, the version is present and I got this jar file. If you want to change it to it, right? That's all. The dependency management, you see how simple it is and how fast. So what you did in here after changing the version, did you run some compiler? What command you type? No, I just saved it. I, I didn't okay. do anything. I changed it to 17 and I did control L. Okay. That's all. And if you don't have a network then, it won't get downloaded. Right? Yes, you need to have it. <laughs> That's what I, like, I'm using it and from long time. See. So, Even for ant, you need to download it from somewhere and physically put it in the project. Right, Manoj? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Even when you want to change the version in ant, you need the jar file. You have to download it. You need network for it, right? No, I'm just asking, like, when you're changing that, yes, yes. you need to download it. That's what I was asking. Yes. If you go over here, folks, it, it actually, you will actually see the new things coming up. Uh, you go on adding the newer dependencies, uh, you know, they get off here. J would have present inside the equation. Uh, then you have, you know, the Apache things here, Apache Pharma and all this. And just right here, all this. So if you want to change the version, yes, of course, you need to have an answer. But it's, it's a very simple thing. I just change this version and say that I have this written. I don't need to get that specific job. I get it to and go on. I'm not saying limit is like, you know, pretty easy. It has some understanding that you need to have on how to use it with all the dependencies and all those things. But still, when you go with development, right, the pace of development will be very fast when you, you know. Because you could put it in with a repository, you could easily bundle it with any SPM or, you know, any, any repository and all that. So yeah, is this uh, version changing is for Maven or project or it's for Java? No, in the Maven project, I'm changing the dependency version. Instead of log 4 j 13 1.2.13, I'm changing it to 1.2.17. So we can have our own version? No, it depends on, usually it's, it's advisable to use the latest version. But actually, it, it depends on what version you want to use. If I'm using some classes that are in 17, I have to use that, right? I cannot use 13 because those classes won't get resolved with that dependency, right? Okay. Folks, any questions? At least I know I advise you, the more you practice, and there are so many things to learn though, but I mean, try to create a Maven project and see, you know, try to change this version and the package and that. Add more dependencies and see how they're getting resolved. And you know, try to add one on top of the other. We have created, you know, uh, a, a simple test case here, which came by default. I'm saying. So you can create like a sample code and you write your own test case and then your test to actually run the test case for you. Right? So it's, it's not easy with and to run just that you have to write your know, targets to achieve and all that. But for and, just keep your test cases inside. If I have to test Java, that's all. Do Maven test, Maven clean test. You're good with it. So, this case is running. It's very easy with Maven, unlike Ant. And no one can deny it. So, Neha, in the real time environment, like in the <coughs> where you work the project, 
So do you, we have a choice which tool to use or like that's whatever the company is using, we need to do, I mean, use that. When you go in as a consultant, we are bound to use the build script or the technology stack, or whatever is already there. But, I mean, it's not a consultant of full time. Whenever you are there for quite some time, people have trust in you, you know, from the work that you did for quite some time, they'll give you a chance or they'll give an EO for listening on whatever you are saying. And that could affect the, the decisions, right? Okay. If you're using ads in your project, you're doing a good work and you could go and tell your architect or whoever, like, you know, uh, your managers or something saying, you know, we have good advantages with me when this is what, you know, even there could be some time which we need to invest in migrating from and even but still we read the benefits going forth. If we, you know, you could convince. I mean, I'm just giving you an example. It could be it's available for any technology. Any questions, folks? We, we are almost at the end of a batch, right? The leftover is the JMS and JNDI. I think that's all. Folks, any questions? I request all of you to practice. To practice well. I mean, what are the projects that we did? I mean, there's more things that you could build on top of it. But still, like we have been, we, we did some, the basic structure, which like, you know, almost relating like the, uh, the projects front into back end or into the thing with high need and all those things, uh, you know, uh, please try to practice them, understand them, and try to build on top of it. So what we're going to learn tomorrow, JMX and JNDI? Yes. Okay. And folks, anytime don't hesitate to uh, reach me when you have any questions. I think today Saroj was reaching me for something. I was trying my best to help out. And, and finally, she's able to finish it. I felt like really happy when she said that. So folks, if you have any questions or something, please don't hesitate to reach me on email, even after the classes. I think we are all in the way of learning. We could help each other. And I could, I could do whatever is possible when you have some questions or concerns. So we can send the email, right? Yes, you can send me. Okay. You can send me an email. So, are you going to say more or some intro questions or uh, with these latest <laughs> framework and other? Uh... I mean, I think I already shared it. That's what I have. Uh, like the spring happiness and all those things. Is there any specific topic, Balraj? Are you looking for interview questions? I might go through those all, uh, so I need to check, like, uh... Okay. So I think I have, like, a core Java thing, but hibernate. I mean, that's not end, but still, those are, like, the minimum questions that you have to know. Goodness, I have some, I, I, I have shared XML and all these folks. Whoever hasn't received any interview questions from me, uh, please send me an email giving in subject interview questions. I should be able to reply back. Okay. Uh, Neha, I didn't get to it. Uh, Twinkle, please send me an email putting interview questions. I'll, I'll just send it to you, okay? Okay, okay, sure. Okay, folks, if you don't have any questions, let's call it today. And good night, everyone. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, 
Please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.